some three bucks in. What's going on? Uh, What's the news? Where are we going to hear some news? Soon, hopefully. Just keep them fit, tick it over. Yeah. Staying ready, staying in shape and just see what comes next. If you had a choice to fight any of the guys right now, Callum Smith, um, Chris Eubank, Billy Joe, who, who would you rather have first? Canelo. Canelo. Yeah, I'll go right back out to Vegas and fight S Canelo. Straight, straight to the money. Straight to the money, yeah. <laughs> what was it, 168, obviously, you would fight? 168, 168. Yeah. 175, okay. if he really wants it. Well, well let's, let's forget about the America, where the money is. The first Brit, if you had a choice. Uh, I'd love the Eubank fight. Mm -hmm. I'd love the Billy Joe rematch. Um, I think they're all very possible now, what with Billy Joe being with Matchroom. Um, Canelo Smith's obviously with Matchroom. They've all got business to take care of, but um, yeah, I think all, all the big fights are very easy to make now. How, what's going on with, uh, because in the interview I saw Eddie Hearn speak to um, Coogan and it was like, you guys are still waiting for Chris Hubert to, to get back to you guys. What's the situation? The situation's right still the same, just still waiting to hear. Um, just being patient, hoping to be out, hoping to be out before the end of the year. Um, hoping to have some news soon. How would you beat the likes of someone like Chris Eubank? Uh, oh, I think the blueprint's there to beat Chris Eubank. You know I mean, George Grover's done it, Billy Joe's done it. Um, it's, it's, it's not an easy night's work for anyone. You know I mean? He's a good fighter, he can punch, he's, he's fit, as, fit as they come. And, and he'll, he's already ready to raise his game, do you know what I mean? So it's a tough fight, but I'm in a position now where all fights are tough. There's no easy night, so I just want to fight the best. Callum Smith, a much bigger... A much bigger guy, yeah. 168. How, do you, how would you stylistically see fair against someone like that? You'd have to sit on his chest, wouldn't you? Call, call me pneumonia, I just got to sit on his chest. But uh, no, that's, that's it's a tough fight. He's, he's a big, massive fighter. He's, he's a big fella. So, yeah, there's no, no easy fight. See, listen, Billy Joe's not an easy fight. Chris Eubank Jr. is not an easy fight. Dude. At this level, there is no easy fights. And how do you beat the main one, Canelo? Pound for pound, num yeah. arguably number one, two or three. I mean, how how could you how could you, we, could you after seeing him how you fought against um, another Brit, um, Rocky Fielding, do you feel like you you would have a obviously your fighter you'd say that. that what's the chances you give yourself against the likes of Canelo? It's hard to know. I mean, cause you don't know. You see flaws in their in their ability and whatnot, but you, once you get in there with them. You, you can study any fighter and think, well, his jab's not that good. You get in there with him, the first thing you get caught with is their jab, and you think their jab is a lot better than you think. So it's all right watching all the tape you want, but once you get in there with him, it's a different story. So he'll be that bit sharper than you think, that bit harder to hit, that bit sharper. And, uh, yeah, listen, he's where he is for a reason. He's a great fighter, but we're, we're in boxing to test ourselves against the best. What do you think he sees in wanting to fight someone like Kovalev? I mean, I suppose just making history. I mean, to be to be a, a concurrent free free weight world champion. I mean, I think uh, was it Sugar Ray Robinson moved up to try and do it and did, was unlucky not to do it. Uh, but yeah, it's just I think he's all about making history now. Okay, let's move on to. I'm just going to do some predictions for you. This weekend, that Niyad is going to fight Kovalev. How do you see that fight going? So you know what? The closer it's getting, the more I'm giving Anthony Yard a chance. I think you look at Kovalev against Andre Ward, a slick boxer. He struggled. The first fight was a lot closer. But the second fight, he got stopped. Um, he's obviously been stopped again by um, Alvarez, Eddie Alvarez. So, um, is it Eddie or I Ida Alvarez? Um, Eld, um, Eld, Eld, Elder, Elder Elder Alvarez. Alvarez yeah. 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 Um, so. He's getting on in his career. You got a young fresh man against the old, the old, like, the old veteran. So, could be time for a change in the guard. Luke Campbell against um, Lomachenko. You got, you got Britain's one of Britain's best amateur boxers against one of the world's best amateur boxers. You know what I mean? It's, um, I'm, I'm a big fan of both, but I just, I'm, I'm just looking forward to being able to watch Lomachenko live in England. Well, you're gonna be there. I'm gonna go. Yeah, oh, definitely. Lucky you, lucky you. And um, lastly. Um, Saudi Arabia rematch Joshua against um, Ruiz revenge or repeat uh, revenge definitely although he's not said there is I believe they're signed massively wrong with AJ that night he's, um, he's 
not saying whether there was or there wasn't. You know what I mean? He's, um, he's, he's, made, he's made his excuses and he's, he's been quite humble about things. But I believe that he will come back and put on a great performance. Lucky punch or not? No, not a lucky punch. It's uh, well placed. You know what I mean? He, he put the shot there. I just think AJ rushed in. He wasn't. Ruiz wasn't ready for the taking. He was just. I think he was more just caught off balance and caught out. And AJ went in for the finish and left himself on the ball and got caught with a, a good shot on the temple. And uh, yeah, it just shows you. Know what I mean, Ruiz was capable enough to just stay on him and grind out the next couple of rounds and then catch him again. Okay. Well, Joe Ryder, thanks for your expertise and um, hope to hear some news soon. Hopefully, thank, thank you. you. Take care. Oh yeah, well done for your last showing in uh, in America. It was, it, was, it, was, it was a beautiful performance. How you just break people, kiss, seem to be breaking people down, and it's just I mean, 168 is the wait for you, obviously. Yeah, no, I'm loving life yeah. at 168. Okay. Thanks for your time. Thank you, Matt.